Let's go back to our original working code from the first video. Just to recap, this program takes a buy position every time our fast moving average crosses above our slow moving average, and it closes the trade when it crosses back down. On USDJPY for the last two years, it would make $18,000, but this code might not be ready for the real world just yet. So let's get on with the coding. So in this video, we're just going to cover stop loss and take profit. First, we need to add input variables for stop loss and take profit so we can optimize them later on. These inline comments will come in handy later. Now we can just scroll down to where we take a buy position. So here we have our crossover. Let's make a little room. So all we have here is our lot size and the current symbol. And we're taking a buy position with that. We want to know what the asking price is and we want to execute the buy at the asking price. So we'll start with that. We'll create our variable called ask and we use a basic MQL5 function called symbol info double to get the current ask price of the current symbol. So now that we have that, we can actually execute our buy position at the current asking price. And now we can calculate stop loss and take profit. Remember, when you take a buy position, your stop loss will be below the ask line. So we declare a variable to store the actual stop loss price, and that is calculated with the current asking price and we will subtract our stop loss variable from up at the top and multiply that by whatever the points are for that current symbol. Now, just so you're not confused, remember we declared stop loss up here of 200 points and we forgot a semicolon, so I'm glad we came back. And here we're declaring another variable called stop loss. So this is what our stop loss is always going to be in points. We always want it to be 200 points. But at the moment of execution, the actual stop loss is a price number. So if we're buying Bitcoin at, say, $100,000, 200 points below that might be $999,000. So that's what we're saving here. Now that we have that calculated, we can put that in to our current code and we can test it. We have zero warnings. Now we'll run it and we'll see if our stop loss is showing up. So right away it takes a trade. We had a crossover here and it took the buy position and it set the stop loss approximately to 200 points lower, which is perfect. And it almost hit it there, but it didn't. So we're currently in a $1,700 profit just from that one trade. And then we can keep running it and we'll see that the stop loss is coming up every time we take a buy position. So that's a cross back down, there's a cross up, we took a buy position, there's our stop loss. So, okay. So now we just do the same thing with take profit. We want to calculate take profit. And remember that take profit is above your asking line. So we're gonna calculate it by ask plus the take profit that we declared in points. And then we multiply by points to get the actual price. And then remember to add that in to your actual buy call. And now we have our asking price, the stop loss that we calculated and take profit that we calculated. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And we'll see if both stop loss and take profit are coming up. We have our buy position there. We have our stop loss there and we can't quite see. Oh, there it is. And there's our take profit up there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Really appreciate your feedback. It helps encourage me to make more videos and to improve them. Please, please, please like the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.